said if the topic goes off topic, discussion goes off topic, it says bring that back right away. That's a little contentious aspect in a meeting, right? Somebody yeah, well, you're saying, uh, well, we're, we're trying to get to this. Maybe we can bring this up at the next meeting or find a way to talk to that person after the meeting or direct it to a subcommittee to look at it for the next meeting. But you've got to set it aside because then it's going to take away from your, your current meeting. Um, a established quorums. You know, if you're going to be in a meeting, you're going to have to vote on certain things. So in most uh, in most meetings, you usually have a quorum when two thirds of the members are present. If you don't have two thirds, well, you probably have to adjourn your meeting and reschedule it for another time because nothing, according to the bylaws that you have, nothing can get approved. Right. Review previous minutes previously sent to the board, except for amend. Um, on this particular item. Um, um, many organizations, when the meeting is com completed, they send out the minutes for the board members to review it, and uh, they and uh, at the next meeting they approve the prior meeting's minutes. We do this at uh, DFW International, for example. So. Um, And, uh, and when you do want to have it uh, uh, accepted, you have to motion for somebody to make that motion, and then you have to have somebody to say it. Okay? The <coughs> treasurer's report. This is normally completed, and uh, <coughs> the report is completed by the treasurer. And it's usually read and presented by the treasurer at the meetings. And the treasurer is a simple report that everybody can understand, but it's something that that is transparent and it shows that the organization is following its laws and, uh, and its directorships and its rules. And um, the the report has to indicate <coughs> the there's problems or no problems. You know, you just can't show and say, well, this month we had X number of dues and we had this number of expenses. That's, and say, thank you very much for my report. Right? Nobody will know if the amount of money you had in the bank went up, we owe more money than we did last month, somebody's suing me, somebody didn't pay, uh, <coughs> but there's a problem with the, the members not paying, some of this stuff. So the treasurer's report is very important. And uh, uh, the next one, officer committee reports. This uh, officer committee reports, of course, are designated by the board, board, board of directors and the, uh, the chairman. And at these meetings, you have to have progress reports. And on your agenda, the people that would be presenting the progress of reports would know about it beforehand. And they would be given a time limit and a topic to which they would address, right? And um, this can be um, progress reports on an ongoing event, a new event that's coming up at mid-year next year, uh, an election that you might be having, uh, an issue that the group is very <coughs> concerned about. Um, and uh, the progress reports come back with action items. Thank you, Mr. on that. The treasurer's report. What do you do when the report itself causes the meeting to go awry because the numbers aren't right or something's wrong, and you know, then your meeting gets lost by trying to figure out what exactly happened in this report? What do you mean? You mean that the uh, the, the, the progress report? Uh, like that the board members are just now finding out that there's way less money than they thought they had, or they have no more money than they thought they did. Oh, the financial report you're, you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, financial report. Well, at that point, uh, the director of the of the meeting would have to um, form a committee if it was an issue to investigate that particular problem and report and this committee would have the responsibility of reporting back to the, the board of directors for their findings and their recommendations. So do you want I mean do you encourage the report to come out before the meeting or just well usually um, the the when you put out the minutes of the last meeting there's usually a financial report there included. So 
So you'll be finding about it beforehand. And if it is a problem, at the end of the meeting, we're going to talk about issues that you want to bring up or recommendations that you might have or uh, things that you may want to challenge. And at that point, you can discuss it and take action accordingly, correct? Um, the old business, new business uh, will be reviewed, looking at the guidelines, the timelines that you made, seeing which businesses Old businesses are not being completed, and why? And if they're not completed, they have to be re re again re-examined and looked at. A new business has to be assigned to people with responsibility and a time limit to get those reports, or that, uh, or that particular new business uh, uh, with a response to the group. Priority sequence for consideration, order of importance, impact time limits. Um, again, the board of directors establish the priorities, and um, the, the order of importance is determined by the group, especially the director of the, the items that have the most impact for the organization, and um, that can be completed in the most timely manner. Next question. Mm -hmm. Making a motion. You can make, during the meeting, you can make motions to um, recommend making a motion. This, I think, we are um, to pass it. Uh, for example, if we make a motion to uh, accept the minutes of last month's meeting, you would, um, you would make a, that motion. That's one way to interpret this particular thing. Making a motion to, to fix something like you mentioned, like for example, financial. You can mention it at this particular time in the meeting or wait until the end and maybe bring up the motion for a recommendation. And when you make that motion, you have to be prepared to be clear about what it is that you want to challenge or what you want to pass. About the minutes. One question. One question. So anyone in the meeting can make a motion, right? Yes. Okay. Anyone in the meeting can make a motion. About the minutes, include attendance records. We, um, why would we want to include attendance records in the minutes? Who has an answer there? So you know who's voting on new proposals, maybe the way they voted. And if you have a problem also that is emerging that, uh, <laughs> Half of the people aren't coming and we can't have meetings because people don't show up, right? And um, also people sometimes, in a lot of the um, bylaws that you have, you have requirements for people to attend a certain number of meetings. When they don't attend a certain number of meetings, it's a cost for them being replaced or removing from, from that particular group. So it serves that purpose also. The records, decisions, and goals records are very important in your meetings in 5016, for example. Uh, you know, where you have to make an annual report to the IRS on your reports. And they always ask you for, at some point after five years, they ask you for a record of the minutes of your meetings. So the sooner you get started on that, the better off you're going to be in complying with that particular order. Some, com some organizations that have none done, none have not done that have ceased to uh, exist because they're not complying with these particular orders and, and uh, decisions. So when you have a set, you have to, when you have a group, you have to name a secretary to take notes and make sure that the uh, secretary reports that and um, Make sure that uh, her, her report is very clear and it puts down the main things that are occurring at the meeting. Not, not, um, not things that are not significant. Records of decisions, roles, purposes, financial detail that we talked about that has to be incorporated there. Very, very important. And details of every financial, of every financial reference, of course, have to be included. 